And the second new feature is called Active Track. And so what it allows us to do is on your screen, if you see a person that you want to follow, you go ahead and click on that person and it will track that person. It creates kind of a 3D model. It actually allows you to fly around the person. This is really pretty high tech. Now in the past, in order to follow someone, let's suppose the person is on a bicycle and you're trying to follow the person with your Phantom 3. And so you're in course lock and so you have your direction set and you have your camera. They actually, the Phantom is turned toward the person, but you still, the person is riding their bicycle. They're going maybe up and down hills and around and you have to watch out for other objects. You have to keep up at the same speed as the same as the person. And at the same time, you're trying to keep the camera uh, in the right place. Position. The whole story of keeping it all together in order to get a good long shot that makes it difficult. Now in this case, we're in the with the Phantom 4 with the active track, it's going to do much of that work for us. With, with this new feature and with the feature of object avoidance, this is going to help keep us keep us safe and give us a sense in which we are in better control and you're not having um, 10 different things that you're working on at the same time in order to get a really good shot.